On today's More Talk, we had six industry professionals all talking about the NAR lawsuit and then the NAR settlement because there is a lot going on in the mortgage industry. Every professional, 250, were represented down in D.C. visiting 550 congressmen, congresswomen, um, senators. People are talking about this because it affects the consumer. The media has run wild with it. At the end of the day, it's not about the commission. This is really about the world is changing, and you'll hear about it on this show, and every profession, whether it's a plumber, did all the work back 30 years ago. Now, people like my wife went on TikTok and was able to help change our entire faucet handle that comes out from watching TikTok and being able to do it. So, do I automatically owe the plumber for that? No, obviously not. If it's a bigger job, I still have to call the plumber. So, where are those smaller jobs and where are those bigger jobs? What's the difference between a buyer's agent and a seller's agent when you're talking about what it's worth? And as the values of homes go up, when they were tied to a percentage rate, are people on the really high amount loans, are were they getting paid too much? And consumers should have the option now to go on YouTube where 92% of first-time home buyers start their, their home mortgage journey, according to NAMBA now. Finally, you'll hear from us in the mortgage industry, as Lee Corso would say, not so fast. There's a lot of regulatory guidance that needs to occur first on, you can't just roll certain things into the mortgage. And if you're going to start doing it this way, then you might have to pay out of cash consumers to a buyer's agent to represent you. So things are changing. Tune in to us to find out how maybe where some of the media stuff is wrong, but hear it from the mortgage side because the real estate agents will talk about their side. But remember, to buy a home, you still need a mortgage if you're going to pay less than 100% down, and most people do. It's <laughs> a good point. That's a great point. I think you're right. I mean, I think today with all of the all of the videos and things that are done, like you were talking earlier about YouTube TV, you know, same thing happened. Our dishwasher went out, was running this air, was running in the middle of the night. We couldn't figure out what. My wife did the video. We took it apart, put it back together in about 30 minutes. We had to run, run it again. Now it got to the second level where it really was having an, a filler valve problem, I guess. And so we had to call the appliance station crew to come out and do it. So yeah, it was only a $40 part, but it was a $290 service call, if you know what I mean. So, um, but that's a lot like what's happened in real estate too as well. I mean, I think in today's world, it's still a very competitive market because there's not a lot of inventory. So what's going to happen for that person? How are they going to be representative? If they don't have a buying agent today. That could be kind of risky. The, the group today were very articulate in how they were bringing their points to the, to the table and even letting go of some frustrations in our call today. So make sure you watch it. Yeah. Realtors say they're going to look at all the offers on Thursday at 3 p.m. Okay. And I'm coming in with an FHA loan at 3% down and you got and you have an all-cash offer. Which one are you really taking? I mean, I don't have a shot at an all-cash offer guy, right? Uh, or 100% down, as you called it. I think they could probably do some really cool things, especially with some of the modernization of the FHA 203K program could be a big deal. I know you and I, Michael, have a lot of ideas and strategies and videos we could put together on that piece, but that could be an opportunity. But for sure, it is definitely changing. It is kind of a new world. We'll figure it out together. Um, I think maybe as our industry veterans and the people that are left in the business that haven't gone away, those are the ones that will come up with some innovative models and some strategic ways of handling it. And so I'm still confident and I'm bullish but it's not gonna happen right away. What is your opinion right now on the NAR settlement issue? Are you an agent thinking that you're not gonna get your fair share if you're a buyer's agent? Are you a listing agent that is now cheering on behalf of your listings? Are you a loan officer thinking, hey, wait a second, I now have a chance to get some action on this? What is your opinion? On today's show, we had so many types of opinions from the leaders and captains of not only of our industry and also in the news media outlet with Clayton the Housing Wire coming on, giving his five cents, not just two cents, because it was such an unadulterated, raw opinion of what actually is going on today. And with Jay Promesco, uh, the leader over at Sierra Pacific, dropping down bombs of his opinion of what is going on. If you're doing an FHA loan, if you're doing a VA loan, if you're the originator or the buyer's agent, are you going to take responsibility? No. Why? Because you don't have control. So the agency are the ones that are going to need to be able to take some responsibility on figuring out how to finance the commissions that the lawsuit has now created. What do you think? Like, join, and subscribe to our show so that we can include you into our opinion on More Talk Radio Show.